Pinnacle, it's very much about the present and the Six Nations 2004. Very much so, but it's uh, the perception of Scotland, it's the most exciting selection that Scotland have made in a number of years. Three new caps, all under the age of 21, it really is exciting and I just, I really look forward to seeing them perform on the international stage. Donald Courtney is in charge of a Six Nations match for the very first time. The scene is set. The crowd passionate, expectant. Wales looking for their first win in the first match of a championship for seven years. And Scotland looking to give Matt Williams, the new coach, a first win. Captain Colin Chavis is the recipient. And immediately Wales show their intent with ball in hand and Rhys Williams gets half a yard of space. Gareth Thomas in support as well. Away, Blue! Stay! Martin Williams back to Stephen Jones, has a think about it and looks for the far corner. And it's the first touch for Ben Hinshelwood, the Worcester fullback. And that'll settle his nerves a little bit as well with a good touch kick. But Wales show their intent early on. Very much so. I think we all knew that Wales were going to throw it wide, but for me it was a good first touch of the international stage by Tom Phillip, the young centre. He made a good tackle on Rhys Williams, and that should settle the young boy down. At the back, Blue. At the back, Blue. Hold it. Nevin Davis in for the injured Robin McBride. And Brent Cobain got the hand on it. The Australian... Played in the World Cup, but this is his first appearance in Cardiff. Sonny Parker, Stay, again firm tackling in midfield by Scotland. And away, Blue, it's there. Stay. Stay. Gareth Cooper to Shane Williams. There's that step, the tackle was high from Phillip. And Donald Courtney wants a word immediately. Maybe not a great second touch in international rugby. <laughs> I don't want to see that again, yeah. OK? Let's have a proper tackle. No swinging arm, OK? Well, he caught him, but the arm was up, so no damage at all. But that's the kind of step you can expect from Shane Williams. He's got quick dancing feet, and he just came inside, and it was the natural reaction from Tom Phillip just to stick the arm out to try and prevent him. This is a key battle in this game today, the line-out. Scottish, the Scottish defensive line-out has been very strong recently, and this is an area I think they're going to really attack the Welsh line-out. It is a facet of play that they always perform well in the lineups to Scotland. Again, tap back ball. This time, Charvis with the tap down. Brent Cobain with the cleaning up work. Stephen Jones, Sonny Parker. And again, Gareth Thomas in the attack and steps inside his man well. That's the Welsh team going forward up towards that 22. Cooper does well under pressure. And the linking up work twice bringing in Shane Williams. Good patterns behind from Wales, and they're using the ball well, but still, Scotland stay firm on or just outside their own 22. Eston Harris, oh, beautifully through the gap as well, and got his pass in the battle, Thomas, there's a man wide, there's Rhys Williams, and the early score after just three minutes to Rhys Williams, tremendous attacking from Wales, and they're awarded with a fine try to kick off the Six Nations of 2004. I've been really impressed with how Wales have started the game. They're really playing with width. We got the forwards are playing in the, in the five yard lines and some, some good interplay, some good passing. And then you see if you make a line break, Gareth Thomas makes the line break and gets them behind them very hard to stop. Some guess in Harris, he just comes off his right foot and there the line break and then it's good hand. Martin Williams, a great seven, great finish by Rhys Williams. Martin Williams, the open side was there to deliver the pass for Rhys Williams. His third try against Scotland in three successive years. When a team are playing with such width as Wales are, Scotland's one-on-one -on -one defence will have to be very strong. A couple of times there we saw players coming off their feet and getting beyond the first tackler. That's where Scotland must be very strong if they're going to not concede some more points. Superb conversion from Stephen Jones. And that is a dream start for Wales. They're not afraid to have a go at their opposite numbers. We've seen it from Shane Williams, Yestin Harris, and excellent support. First from Gareth Thomas, then Martin Williams, and 
A simple run in for East Williams.